Welcome back. Parents, are you concerned that your child may have an articulation disorder? Speech pathologist Kyle Meads from the Therapy Group of Tucson is here to discuss the most common types of those disorders. Kyle, thank you for coming back. Hey, good morning. Uh, we were actually just kind of chit-chatting a little bit right now about articulation disorders, and I had asked if there are different kinds of the, of the disorders, and you were telling me yes. Absolutely. Uh, a lot of times when I come on the show, I'm talking about language problems or specific problems like autism or stuttering, but articulation disorders are a little bit different. Um, with children especially, you can have like speech sound problems. One child might uh, substitute one sound for another sound. Um, but in adults, you might see something like um, dysarthria, a muscle weakness after a stroke. So there are many different types of articulation problems. So the causes can vary. Absolutely. Some are functional problems and some are, um, you know, they're pretty easy to correct, you know, maybe after ear infections. And some are pretty severe, like after a stroke, you might have a neurological deficit. So is there maybe uh, an easy way for parents to decide if that is what their child is experiencing or maybe it's something completely different? Yeah, I mean, in our clinic, we get a lot of phone calls from a lot of parents, you know, generally age two, age three, you know, hey, my child, he's trying to say something. It sounds like he's talking a foreign language. His friends can't understand him. He's getting really frustrated. He's taking me by the hand and he's pulling me around the house and pointing and grunting and we just really can't understand what my child is saying and when he plays with other kids uh, he might get a little aggressive or um, he might throw things so you know you might see behaviors associated with the speech problem the articulation problem so that's when it's uh, best to talk to your pediatrician and the pediatricians are very well trained they know what to look for they know the signs and symptoms of speech sound problems articulation problems and then they'll refer that child to our clinic and we can do a formal assessment and so we have actual uh, assessments that we use to identify those sounds and errors and, and problems with speech. So if it does turn out that we've gone through that path and one of the disorders does fall, your child falls into that, how do you then correct it? That is a little bit different. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty easy to identify what the problem is, but correcting that problem does take time. With speech sound disorders, you're actually training muscle movements. So like with, uh, like with any therapy, like physical therapy, you know, when you wanna train your arm or your knee or your leg to get stronger, the same with the mouth. We're working with the lips, the tongue, the jaw, the phonation, the respiratory system. We're training children to say certain sounds correctly. Now it gets a little bit tricky, like with some children, we have um, a disorder called apraxia of speech. That's a neurological problem. That's more difficult to train. That takes a lot of repetitive movements, a lot of uh, training. So, you know, as with any articulation problem or apraxia, you want to work on this. It's something that you can't just fix in a couple of weeks. It takes time, and that's where it falls back on the family to come to those appointments. Weekly treatments are the key you got to work at it and we, we train all of our families to do things at home. We have exercises, home programs. We do get the families involved so they can carry over the things that they learn into the clinic into the home setting. And so of course uh, what is needed is depending upon what is the the original problem so that will always be different per child uh, or even an adult as we were saying uh, this is for adults could be could could be something completely different. You were mentioning a stroke or something like that. Right. So there's not really a, an age group that this can affect. No, it, speech problems, articulation problems can be adults. It could be found in children. I mean, recently we had someone, an adult, uh, who had a lisp. That's problems with the S sound. And, um, it bothered them, so they wanted to have that fixed. Now, with an adult, someone who has that language base, that knowledge of sounds, it's easier to train. It might not take as long, but with a child just learning how to speak, you know, at two years of age, three years of age, I mean, we're training different positions in the lip, the tongue, the jaw to make that speech sound very clear. So it's, it's different with adults and children. And I'm sure a lot of times uh, when people do come in, they ask the question of, will my insurance cover this? Uh, is that also something that varies? Yeah, I mean, it, it really depends on the plan. It depends on the network, but we have a full staff. We have a billing department. They check benefits. I mean, we know how to bill insurances. We know uh, we send the reports off to the insur insurance company so we can justify uh, getting it covered. But a lot of times it's covered. There are some instances it's not covered if it's... Um, 
I mean, insurances have their own exclusions and or limitations on each plan, but we have very affordable cash rates so people can get the, the care that they need. And that way they can get the treatments weekly. Again, when you correct speech problems, articulation problems, you want to come in weekly. This is, yeah. again, you know, every other week won't do it. I mean, we get a lot of families who come in and they've had, you know, therapy at the schools. You know, there, there's groups of four and five children. It's one time a week for 20 minutes in a group setting. We don't do that. I mean, we do have groups available, but when it comes to severe speech problems, we get the kids in there individual. I mean, we work on it every week, same time, same therapist. I mean, we're there. We're there to help. Very specialized. Well, Kyle, that's why we have you on is because, you know, those parents or even adults that are feeling a little frustrated, kind of scared that this is happening. We know that there's a light at the end of the tunnel and somebody to go Absolutely. to. Absolutely. I'm going to remind them how they can get a hold of you guys to start that process. But again, Kyle, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. For a speech and language evaluation, call Therapy Group of Tucson at 232-2021 or log on to supportvoice.com.